where I grew up in Ballyhorry. Uh huh. Um, it was a townland of Ballyhorry, but it was part of Cronstown. I was part of my grandfather's. Uh, it was a cider farm that we lived on until my father took it over on his own. Mm-hmm. And that was about when I was about f- 15, he took it over on his own. Mm-hmm. And then he started to farm as well as, as his ordinary work. He did farming mm-hmm. as well because Mr. Church has said every, every piece of ground was to be broken up. He just grew flax and grains and uh, of course, he always did grow a lot of potatoes and vegetables, and we had the perfect drainings for the flax, uh-huh. you know, the way it has yeah. to steep more. But I don't know who took it. Mm-hmm. Was the, the ministry? I'm not so sure about that now. I only know that he grew this flax for them. I think it was for the government. I think. You see, See, Belfast is the perfect London place, mm-hmm. but, yeah, but I don't know the connection. I didn't mm-hmm. know the connection Aye. then. Yeah. Because when you're in your teens, Aye. you don't know. You don't Aye. really take notice. Aye. You just know that the flax is awful slimy, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was only a few miles from the town. We always mm-hmm. had to walk. You mm-hmm. know, there no cars then. We always had to walk to the town. But it was our local town, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's so much has happened in that town mm-hmm. since mm-hmm. I was born. That's why I never dreamt when I lived in Ballyharry that we would one day be part of nearly Newton House. <laughs> and, and then Newton House, of course, with all the factories closing, mm-hmm. it sort of lost, lost a lot. Mm-hmm. The, the park show was only put up about 1940s. Is that right? Yes, right, because wow. when I had to go for the bus to get to Stormont and whatnot, uh, it was just opposite the bus stop uh-huh. where they were building the park show. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. You know? and then, of course, don't forget the railway. The railway. Of course, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure the date that... that they were all closed. I can't remember that. I think it was nineteen fifty. Nineteen fifty. I, I know. So. I know. Um, uh, that's not. To me, that's not that long ago. Nineteen <laughs> fifty. Uh-huh. And it really was a good. And I don't know why they did close it, but the, there was more than the more than Newton Hart was closed. You yeah. Know, yeah. You know, I don't know the Cumber. Cumber. Yeah. The Cumber's nearly near Newton Hart. Ah, it is. Ah, it's ours, isn't it? Yeah. That's we'll true. soon, uh, look, we'll soon all be one big concrete. There were no grass. <laughs> Thank goodness it won't be in my time. <laughs> and where we lived in the mornings, the horn went at eight o'clock. And we could hear perfectly sitting at our breakfast. The factory the horn. Factory horn, horn yeah, the factory horn, yeah. So what what do you, what do, you do for fun? Back in the 30s, 20s and 30s? Joined the Young Farmers, I suppose, when I was about 20s. Uh-huh. After it started reaching house, I think I was not joined the Young Farmers. And we, now that's another thing to tell you. We met in, do you know where the Young Farmers Hall is, the month? Almost the town ago. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, when we joined, the cenotaph was there and we rented the British Legion Hall, which was an army hut. Right. With all divisions and there was plenty of room in it. Because we were able to have dances in it and whatnot. After the war, I remember my father came and negotiated prices and whatnot with us. And we bought the hut from them, from the Legion. They moved the cenotaph down to where it is now. Yeah. Although most people think it has always been there. That's what I thought. But it wasn't. No. It wasn't there till the beginning, to well. the end of the war. I was past the age of, you know what I mean? 20, 25 you're supposed to be, but I was away over in that. <laughs> I'm still in it. <laughs> I'm one of the best presidents. 
<laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we did enjoy we did enjoy ourselves when we were in the old farms, really did.